Hey, friends, Rob Wood here, Rob Wood's Ministries. Before I release the prayer of faith for any young people to be delivered from demonic depression, oppression, or any possession, I'm asking your help as a minister of the gospel. Friends, by all means, subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Any of the ministry videos that are over six, seven, eight minutes, please share them with young people so they can live victorious in Christ. And Friends, bow your heart on me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm pleading the blood of Christ. I'm pleading the shed blood of Calvary over myself. Any young people listening or watching this video, friends, the Lord's coming to release you today from any depression, oppression, or possession. In fact, it says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 6, the Lord is loosing the bonds of wickedness. Every spirit of wickedness is coming off you. It says he's undoing the heavy burdens, any weights, cares, burdens, stress, anxiety, fear. It's coming off you and out of you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is letting the oppressed go free. The Bible says you are free indeed. The Bible says the truth shall set you free. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. So, Father, I'm asking Young people, predominantly under the sound of my voice, let them be free in Jesus' name. Let all depression go, oppression, possession, anyone in their mind that's struggling with fear. Your word says perfect love casts out fear. Father, in Timothy, it says God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Come on, confess that with me. Say God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power. Love in a sound mind. And Lord, set them free. Loose them. I bind every demon. I bind every demon spirit. Loose them. Go out of them in the name of Jesus. And friends, the greatest miracle certainly is praying the prayer of salvation. If no one here under the sound of my voice has ever accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Friends, the Lord comes by invitation only. God will never make you serve him. God gave us a free will. You can either accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. But know this, you control the doorknob to your heart. And the tomorrow's promise to no man, my friends. Certainly everyone here one day will slip into what's called eternity. No one's immortal under the sound of my voice. Certainly no one's found the fountain of youth. If you have, I'd love to meet you. And when you take your last breath, either the elevator goes up to heaven that's life insurance or down to the basement, a place that Jesus spoke about called hell. That is fire insurance, my friends. So say this prayer with me. It's not necessarily in praying the prayer. It's the faith behind it that ignites Jesus to come live in your heart. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, put your name in the comments section below. I want to personally pray for you as a minister.